What's up guys, this is Adam from 3dmodesworld.com Welcome to another Maya tutorial and today we're gonna create this uh, cool uh, light flickering effect in Maya and Arnold and uh, it's gonna be a pretty fun tutorial actually and I'm gonna be showing you how to create this flickering using volume noise 3d texture in Maya and it's gonna be uh, we're gonna be using mesh light in Arnold and it's gonna be quick tutorial and uh, you can use the same approach here for lights and uh, we did that before a similar approach for creating camera shakes in Maya so without further delay let's get started okay so this is the scene I have and uh, let's go to the light and let me select it and frame on it so this is basically the geo that we're gonna uh, having uh, the light applied to it so first thing we need to separate this geo from the model just want to make sure it's separated and also I closed the top part of it so I have a complete geo because before when I separated it was like this so I just go to mesh and then I click on fill hole so this way it's closed so this is a good thing to do just in case you know just to make sure everything is uh, the geo is full and the next thing we need to do let's delete the history delete by type history and let's put it back okay so let's go to the camera view and this is the camera animation and we have multiple lights here with that we're gonna be applying the same method let's make it emit the light so we can do that either by going to Arnold lights and then mesh light or an easier way you go to Control A and then let's go to the light shape and then here under Arnold you need to switch it from a poly mesh to mesh light so this way when you switch it to mesh light basically you convert this geometry into a light and this is the default settings you get the color of the light we're gonna keep it white and then the intensity is one the exposure is zero so let's start playing with these settings and adjusting the the values here so let's just render now see what we have okay so done rendering and you can see this is our main light here and it's currently doesn't emit anything and these are the other lights we had in the scene and I already applied to them the mesh light so this way we can see uh, the scene so let's start changing these settings to get it to look uh, correct so first so since we're gonna be animating this light to be flickering uh, they, we have the intensity and the exposure they both gonna uh, affect the light in the scene so we're gonna animate the intensity because when we go to value of one that's gonna be like at the full intensity and when we go value to zero that's gonna basically the light be turned off meanwhile the exposure it can go to really high numbers so we want since we're gonna be applying like a, a noise procedural textures like what we did with the camera shake so this way the values we're gonna get is gonna be only like zero and one so the best thing is to apply it to the intensity to make it work correct so let's change then the exposure it's gonna be the main one contributing to the light so let's change that to let's say like let's put to 15 then let's select this region and then let's save and render okay so now we can see setting the exposure to 15 it did help bring a light here to the scene but you can see here the light seems missing so it's not showing like in these guys so that's due to this light visibility here so let's tick that on and then let's save and then let's render another one okay, so now you can see after we check the visibility the light is showing now so that's good so now we have the light showing and then we have that uh, exposure so now when we gonna set up this exposure we want to set up to the maximum like when this basically the intensity is one how much light exposure has been uh, emitted so we want to make sure here we put it let's say 18 so this is basically the maximum how bright this light gonna be so let's save and then let's render okay so this is when it's 18 you can see it's pretty bright and uh, now it's very noisy so I lowered the settings so this way we can render faster because this kind of these lights it takes some time to render and uh, the samples here will also affect uh, the quality so now it's set to one when you set it to two it's gonna improve like these guys in the back are set it to two so it's much better than here it is very noisy but for now let's keep it like that because we're gonna be if mainly focusing on doing the animation and this render just to quickly check how bright things are 
So 18 is pretty good. So now you can see if I turn this to zero for our animation and then I render, let's save this one and then let's render. So done rendering and you can see when it's zero it completely turns off. And this is when it's maximum one. So we're gonna be switching between those two values. Okay, so let's first apply here uh, the proper settings here, the animation. So as I mentioned, we're gonna be using procedural uh, nodes to uh, move this animation. So this way we don't have to manually animate it. And this is always gonna be random and nice. So first thing, what we need to do here, let me go to the hypershade and show you what node we need to create. So basically, we need to go to the 3D textures and we're gonna be creating a volume noise. So this volume noise, we want it to drive the intensity. And volume noise, it, it have like two values, zero and one. It's gonna be like going in between them. And that's perfect for the intensity. So let's close the hyper shade for now. Then let's right click on the intensity and then create a new texture. Because we don't wanna set key, we're just gonna create a new texture. And then after that, let's click on 3D textures and apply the volume noise. Okay, so now we have this volume noise applied to our light. So let's go to the hyper shade. And then let's look at, uh, let's bring our, let's click on our uh, geo. And let's click on input and output graph. So now we have uh, both the noise and the geo here selected. So you can see now already set the intensity 2.92. And then if you, let's click on it again. Now if you scrub the timeline, you see there's nothing really happening. There's no motion happening at all in the intensity. That's because our noise now it doesn't have animation on it. So first thing before changing anything here, let's make sure this noise is animated. So now we have 200 frames. So let's animate it matching the same time. So let's go to frame one and then uh, you see here's the time. Let's right click and set key. And then let's scroll all the way to 200 or wherever the timeline of your scene and then let's set this to 200 and then also let's set the keyframe so let's go back and then the, when we scrub we can see this noise animating so when i play you can see it animating so that's a good thing that's mean it's gonna start influencing and animating our light as well so let's click on the light and see so now it's 292 so now I'm just clicking through the timeline and you can see the values are changing. So that's good. But there's a problem here. Now if you play it in real time, you can see these numbers keep moving up and down all the time. And the light usually when it flicker it doesn't, like it's gonna shut down for a few seconds and then go back up and then shut down. It doesn't go like, uh, you know, like there's a smooth transition between the light. So that's not gonna give us a realistic result. We want it to be like very abrupt in terms of flickering. So we need to apply that to our uh, noise. So let's click on it. And uh, before we do anything on the noise settings, let's go to the animation editor. And let's make sure this uh, graph here for the time and the noise is linear. So this is always consistently is the same. There's no slow ins and slow out. This is just one thing to make sure we do that first. But you can see here it's doing the same thing. Like the value is going very smoothly. We don't want them to do that. So let's go to the noise and then start changing these settings here to make it look more realistic. So the threshold, let's make it uh, make sure it's zero. If we make it all the way to one, it's gonna completely, basically have everything white, so there's no animation influence. Amplitude is the same thing. Let's make sure it's always uh, one, so this was the maximum. And this the ratio and frequency and all these settings here we can start play with. And uh, so let's start changing the the settings here. For the ratio, let's lower it to zero. So this way we can start to get this like black and white like a variation so there is no in-betweens. We don't want the in-betweens in gray areas. This is this way. We always getting kind of like either it's on or off. And there is a little bit of gray here so this way you're gonna get some in-between like so not on all the way. Uh, but this is a good for now. 
and then let's go here to this frequency and then let's change that higher frequency so we have these uh, dots becoming smaller so let's go like around 44 so now they really like small and this way it's just gonna make it more uh, you know like uh, have more animation into it so it doesn't hold too long in one uh, doesn't hold like let's say too long in one and then uh, switch back to zero after like few seconds so the animation is over we want to make sure the, the light is changing within the timeline we have so let's go here um, let me put back the graph the hyper shade and then let's go to the setting here and then let's start playing through the numbers here so we can see the numbers start the value change a lot between the jumps but still we get in consistent uh, motion in here and we don't want that we want it to hold a little bit longer so so there is more settings here we can do one thing we can do here if you scroll down to this density so this density basically if you put it to zero there will be completely no noise at all but if you start increasing slowly you can start to see these uh, num uh, these white dots coming back so basically this is what gonna help us because now we had it to one so there is always white and gray and black area so always there is motion so let's tone it down let's say we put it 0 0.5 so now we tone down this amount so let's select back this and then let's start scrubbing through so you can see now it's been zero holding for a few frames then jump to 342 then back to zero so now we start to get the kind of effect that flickering but still there is quite a bit of uh, motion going on because now when we play this in real time it's gonna be flickering really fast we want at least like uh, the noise to hold on a specific number for at least like 10 frame or 7 frame so 10 frame basically that's like half a second and then the second 24 frames but turns close to half a second we want it to be like every few like every half a second do like flicker or every second to do flicker we don't want it to be you know less than a second keep flickering and that's gonna be very very fast so let's go back then and then let's lower this density even more then let's go 0 0.3 then let's select this uh, light here let's go through the frames so you can see I'm going through three I'm still zero still on zero now it's switched on then back off so you can see there's pretty good holds this is like let's see so this is on then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty one two three four five so like around one second between like there is a one second gap now between each flicker and that's that's pretty good that's like uh, more like uh, accurate but we can increase that a little bit so it doesn't have to be exactly like one second so let's do 330 just increase this add a little bit more dots and now when we scrub through we start to get more variation so that's good it's kind of like counting A similar numbers let's see so let's turn it down even more sorry I mean increase it even more c3 60 we don't want it to be take too long okay so now you can see we start to get maybe this is too much because it start to kind of maybe like uh, five frames between each so this is as you can see guys this is basically you need to tweak to get kind of like the sense of what will be the best result so let's put a 340 okay so now there's there's a uh, more flickering there's like in between the big flickers there's the smaller ones so you can see here is 0 0.011 and then if we keep counting after that it goes to 0 0.6 which is pretty bright gonna be so that's pretty good 
and now it's 0 0.021 so so now it's kind of with these numbers I have here it's switching between uh, very bright and then goes to complete off and then goes to a little bit bright and then goes to very bright so it's like a nice variation and that will be that's pretty cool I think that will be basically good and this is gonna give us the same result uh, as you guys saw in the beginning of the video it's gonna give us similar so this is a quick way so you can basically utilize this uh, noise volume noise also you can do similar effect with the solid fractal as well uh, but I like the noise because it does have really nice uh, settings to adjust here and get these like nice dots So I would recommend going with the volume noise and make sure you're doing the 3d textures and not the 2d textures Because for the 2d textures not gonna work the 3d textures is more works well with this kind of situations where you want uh, you know the export of the animation to be in uh, like either XYZ like what we did with the camera shake or like in this kind of situation where you apply it to the light uh, values here so hopefully this tutorial will help you guys let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to get notified when I'm publishing a new video feel free to check our website 3 for more tutorials and cool 3d assets until next time take care